There are many diets available today, but how do you know what's your good and what's your bad? I have tried several diets only to find that most of them do not promise what they or do not do what they promise, and I'm sure some of you have done the same. Diets can be used for weight gain, weight loss, or to fit a certain lifestyle, and if they are not doing what they promise, then people can be hurt really badly. Um, I want to become a dietitian so that this doesn't happen and people <coughs> will get what they are promised. Today we will discuss my personal interest in the field of dietetics and why I wanted to become one and what the future holds for the field of dietetics. First, let's see my interest in the career. Um, I want to be a nutritional therapist when I become an RD and what this entails is like helping people with eating disorders or like just random things that they'll need more therapy, like food therapy on. Um, I lost a lot of weight in my high school years and I want to help other people do that because I did it healthy, I didn't have an eating disorder. And um, I want to help other people feel the same sense of achievement. Um, there are many factors that drive people to unhealthy weight loss. My cousin almost died from an eating disorder, which is like really why I wanted to become a dietitian in the first place. And um, a lot of other people suffer from them. In a 2011 interview with Demi Lovato, uh, ABC reporter Robin Roberts discussed with her her eating disorder and like really brought to the surface why they happen and how dietitians help them. Um, eating disorders are not the only type of unhealthy weight loss. You can also like have exercise addictions. Um, Nicholas B. Kristoff, the reporter for the New York Times, explained in a 2011 article that. Dietitians can help them either give them supplements if they really want to work out that much, or they can help them like not exercise as much and still be healthy. Um, I hope that my future in dietetics is as strong as the field itself. The field of dietetics is on the rise and will continue to grow in future years. <coughs> the National Eating Disorder Association's 2012 survey reported that 10 million females and 1 million males suffer from eating disorders this year alone in America, which is crazy. And um, this is only going to go up because of the media and like stars and how they portray their bodies. So people like us are going to want to be that way and usually with people that aren't naturally saying they get eating disorders and they'll be a nutritional therapist. Um, also, like the World War II baby, baby boomers, they are going to be getting older, and as they age, they're going to have to go to the hospital more. In an online article posted by AARP, um, on, or older people, they go to the hospital on average more than younger people, and when they do go to the hospital, they stay longer. And if you stay longer, then you're going to need a dietitian to like make your meal plans and stuff for you to stay healthy while you're in there. Um, and this will also help the field of dietetics because they will be the ones helping them. Um, there are many reasons and ways that I want to become a dietitian, and I, for one, cannot wait to become one. Today, we discuss my personal reasons and factors for wanting to be a dietitian, and uh, we also discussed the um, positive future of dietetics and my excitement in the field. Um, there is nowhere to go but out for this field, dietetics, and I cannot wait to see my future in the field.